sa inyong lahat. Ako po si G. Tanji. At simulan na natin ang ating live show for this month. Kasama natin ang attorneys natin na si uh, attorney Allison Aquino Silva at si attorney Richard Lowe. This American Dream segment is brought to you by Aquino and Lowe Law Firm. Answering your immigration questions. Before we get down to the nitty gritty, we want to congratulate our big congratulations, of course, attorney Allison Aquino Silva on the birth of your daughter. Thank you so much, G. It's been a tiring month. We are very excited. <laughs> but for very you. joyous. Huh? We can't wait to meet Sienna. Sierra. Ah, uh, Sierra. Yep. That's right. <laughs> Sierra. Okay. Now, pag-usapan na natin itong uh, court, uh, Supreme Court decision on the expanded DACA and DAPA executive action programs. Uh, Attorney Richard Lowe, let's talk about uh, any updates that you have on DAPA and DACA. Well, as you know, there was a supposed to be a Supreme Court decision. The decision was that the Supreme Court made no decision. There was a 4-4 tie and breakdown between the, the judges, so they basically sent the matter back to the uh, Texas uh, Appellate Court uh, to finish the, the case. So we have no decision. The injunction remains in place, so DACA and DAPA cannot go forward. The expanded DACA and DAPA cannot go forward at this time. Uh, last week, in a sort of Hail Mary move, the government filed a petition for rehearing with the Supreme Court when there is a ninth judge uh, impaneled, but the likelihood of that succeeding is very small, but it could happen. Okay, so we are still anxiously awaiting Supreme Court's decision on the extended DAPA and DACA programs. And now let's talk about uh, this T visa. Ali, uh, I know that uh, the bakery workers were here recently. Um, and they were talking that they did get awarded this T visa and they can now stay in the Philippines because they have been classified as um, trafficked into this country. Can you expound on what, what that entails? Exactly. And um, congratulations to them because they went through some horrific experience. And uh, the ability to now have the protection of being granted the T visa and the ability to remain here in the United States is just such a valuable um, uh, award to them that they very much deserve and so with the T visa and you know this is very unfortunately very common in the Filipino community because of the type of jobs that are um, that are conducted by Filipinos here in the United States and essentially a T visa is known as a trafficking visa and it is a temporary type of visa that is provided to individuals who are victims of severe forms of trafficking and so I guess the main question is what is trafficking and essentially trafficking um, uh, it has two components. It's either sex trafficking, so if an individual is brought into the United States in order to perform, um, you know, be a prostitute or a, a child who is um, made to conduct sexual acts, that's sex trafficking. Um, a more common, or not more common, but another form of trafficking is the trafficking of labor and, and work services. So with the Filipino community in particular, you, know, have, a lot, you have a lot of individuals working as caregivers, working um, like the bakers, working excessively, excessively long hours for very little wages. And like with the Filipino workers, sometimes they were made to work 17-hour days, um, get paid less than $3 per hour. And another component of trafficking is if a person is um, subjected to a large amount of debt. So say with the, the Filipino bakers, they were um, forced to pay back maybe like $11,000 mm -hmm. for the privilege of, uh, so-called privilege of being brought into the U.S. and taken advantage of. Um, and within the community, it's very hard for people to identify themselves as victims of trafficking because a lot of the times they're just, they feel grateful for just being in the United States, having the ability to have a job. Um, and you don't recognize that you shouldn't be working 17 hours. You shouldn't be paid $3 per hour. And so a lot of individuals, they need to first identify that you're not being given a benefit, you're being taken advantage of. Um, you are a victim of trafficking and that's what the T visa is for, in order to help individuals who are subjected to those type of very inhumane working conditions. Um, and so it's people who are coerced to um, work excessively long hours. And so it's, we're not talking about, you know, people who are, uh, who don't get two hours of overtime, you know, every other week. Mm -hmm. It has to be a severe form of trafficking is the first requirement for the T visa, um, that you are also cooperative with any type of investigation or um, prosecution that takes, pl that um, the police or other government agency wants to take against whoever is conducting the trafficking. 
Uh, and you also have to be here in the United States, that is the third requirement. And the fourth requirement is that you would suffer extreme hardship if you were not granted a T visa and mm -hmm. required to leave the U.S. Okay. Well, uh, we are taking your calls live here in our studio. Please give us a call if you are watching us. The number is 1-800-553-5724. Unfortunately, we are not broadcast in Hawaii live right now. So if you are in L.A., please give us a call. We are here, and attorneys Allison Aquino Silva and attorney Richard Lowe are here to take your calls. So please call us here on Kababayan today at magbabalik kami. All right.